Welcome back to Lasco Ford. This is Paul Zagman. Taking a look at the 2018 Ford Transit. This is going to be an HD 350. Whew, that's a little bit of a mouthful, but here's what's cool with it. There's a lot of things that changed for 2018 and they all make sense. Uh, Ford is doing a heck of a job listening to customers and a lot of the feedback. Well, first thing that they changed, and you might see this, is this is not a beauty cap ring thing. This is a solid alloy wheel that's on the Transit for the heavy duty. Now that's cool because you got a forge wheel on the front and then you got a forge wheel in the duals in the rear on this being the HD. Anytime you see that HD, that's what they're gonna reference to. There's gonna be four tires in the back, not just two. In the front, take a look at this. You have a chrome inlay, all chrome headlight. If you have an all chrome headlight, you have an exterior upgrade package that's also gonna come with the chrome grill. So chrome grill, chrome headlight, not blacked out, like with the chrome, a little bit of chrome and then some black. It's all chrome, all chrome here. That's gonna come as part of that option. Now, a couple cool things too that we wanted to mention is this is gonna be a step bumper so your technicians can get in and out of the engine bay without having to do what they did in the account line with ripping out half of your inside of your van. Well, cool, we can access that now. This hood vents, this one's functional for the intake system of the van. So that's gonna go right into your intake and your air filter, then into the the throttle body and all that good stuff on the inside of it too. Let's take a look at more things too. How about roof clearance lights? You can have those on the HDs. That's the big ones. I like it too. Side marker lights too. This is going to be one of two mirrors. This is the long arm mirror or you get a short mirror. Short mirror is going to be solid right to the vehicle. This is going to have two different pedestals coming out, holding this mirror with a turn signal out on the outside of it. Also a marker lamp too. Looks huge coming down the road. Well, it looks huge all the time. This is the tallest and longest that they make. So this is extended length and high roof. They make three different roof heights. They make a low roof, medium roof, and a high roof. And then they make two different lengths. They make a 130 wheelbase or a 148 on the wheelbase. Then they make three lengths, two on that 148 wheelbase, okay? So short, medium, um, it's short and long, and then extended length. Anytime you do the extended length, you have to get the tallest roof, if that makes sense. You can't do the longest one medium, you have to do the longest one with the highest roof. Inside, what is that clear? Six foot five on the interior. A medium roof is five foot ten on the interior. And then a low roof is just over, well, it's just, just under actually five feet. It's right at like five, it's right, give or take two inches, we'll call it. You could uh, stand up in there. That's not very nice <laughs> at all. So I'm much taller than five foot. Right, so <laughs> we'll get to that later. Here's the cool thing on this one. Now this is a customer's van, so we apologize, it's a little bit dirty, we just got one more outfit done to it, so we'll have it cleaned up and finished up for that customer too. But power base on the seat, going up and down and tilting, and then you have the back portion tilting here power, then you have your lumbar, and this is a heated seat option there too, so that's nice. Where's your gas cap? Well, it's right there, okay? Well, it's got this nice little tab, and this is a capless fuel system, so when you shut this, guess what you can't do is access it at all unless the door is open. Interesting. But if you're cold and you're filling it, you can still shut the door and leave it open as you're filling inside the vehicle, doing your thing and staying warm or cooling off. It's summertime or something, mm -hmm. right? Um, here's another cool thing. We do some upfitting, obviously, behind me. I know this is an all black van, but that's actually a window on no door handle to open, right? So we had a window installed in on this side and actually on the sliding door too, because this specific customer did not want windows in the back did want them for the side. We actually did a little coach upgrade for this customer too, which is nice. I mean, it looks beautiful, it blends in perfectly. And it also is, uh, it's made to come out just a little bit in the back, follows the body line perfect, but it's made for w wind reduction, noise reduction, thinking about all that stuff too. Take a look at the at, at this right here. So this is with the dual rear wheel. You're only gonna sacrifice a very slight bit of wheel well increase on the interior of the van. When I say slight, you're still fitting full pallets up to three in this vehicle without a problem. And that's even the oversized pallets too, not just a standard, it's oversized. So you have up to 54 inches between the wheel wells that you're able to do. This one takes it in slightly, it's at 51 inches, 51.3 I wanna say. Don't quote me on that. If you've got a question, throw it in the comments and I'll get you an answer for sure. But the, the uh, back of this vehicle, you're gonna have the EcoBoost badging. Three different motors. You can get it with a 3.7 liter V6, a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, this EcoBoost, which is definitely the punch of get up and go, 400 pound foot of torque. It is a rocket ship and it still sips fuel, no doubt about it, or 3.2 liter diesel engine. 
Now you're going to be taking a look at these, and in 2016, they made the backup camera standard. That was right here. They've relocated that up to where your third brake light is. Sorry about the lights, guys, but it's going to be up where your third brake light is. That now produce, or, uh, protrudes out a little bit. No windows on the back than this one. But we're going to crack the doors open. You're going to be able to take a look inside. Cool thing about the doors, they're double hinged, right? So you have this little unlock button here. Slide that to unlock, and that comes all the way open. You then have things that you can see. Seven pin wiring harness, four pin wiring harness, trailer towing package. What's your capability? 7,500 pounds is your maximum capability on this vehicle for towing behind you. This vehicle, the way that this vehicle is equipped, is at 6,500 pounds on the 2018 350 HD Ford Transit. Okay, so like, just so you know, on the EcoBoost, that's where we're at. So four pin, seven pin, your uh, receiver there too. A new upgrade, and I keep banging on things with my ring. That's metal. <clears throat> this is the new heavy duty scuff plate system that can go in it. You also have an option for heavy duty flooring to go in it now this year as well. So instead of a vinyl floor or a raw metal floor, you have a half inch recycled plastic material that is harder than hard. And it's cool because if you're dragging nails on the bottom of a skid to load and unload this thing, guess what? You're not tearing up vinyl. You're not going through your paint to your raw metal. Right? That's genius. I love it. And Ford really was thinking when they did that. Right here, you're going to have a recessed hole. What is that for? You're going to have a key in your roadside assistance equipment, which I'll show you here in just a minute. But that key will lower your spare tire down to the ground. It is up and underneath the back end of the vehicle here. Other things that we installed here, we did an aluminum e-track rail system in this. The customer's going to be using this for dirt bike hauling. Nice thing about that is, if you don't have a ramp with you, you can still just lift up front tire and no problem load this with the lowest load floor in its class for this vehicle. Boom, that just happened, right? Other things that I like is on the inside of the vehicle, installed grab handle, is the interior cargo protection package too. So this is wall so covering on the inside of it really too. <laughs> yep, that's how you use it. We also did uh, cabinets inside of the vehicle. And you'll notice LED lighting, right? So we got LED lighting. Plenty of it. You can see everything in here, no problem. We did some cabinets in here too, so you're able to open and shut those cabinets. Swinging them is it's pretty freaking easy. So if you're going to lock up some stuff you don't want rolling around, there's also a wall and a rack hanging up jerseys for dirt bike riding, right? If you're going to you need to put a pin in here. Yeah, but, nice in there. Yep, yeah, we got to put a pin in there. We've got a little rack system here. Can even bungee through on some of these tie hooks. So if you're doing Things like fuel, this is a sealed wall back here, right? So fully sealed wall, this is all covered up with that same polycarbonate too, so we don't have fumes going into the cabin of the vehicle either. This is where your electricity is ran through the vehicle for the rear lighting, you can tie into those things. I'll show you some more cool stuff on the inside of the vehicle, on the coach end of things. It's all one vehicle, it's wrapped a lot of things wrapped into one, it's, it's cool. Check it out. Come on. Okay. okay, there's a couple more things before we go inside, I apologize. First of all, this magnet and this magnet, those meet together on the double hinge thing that we were talking about. So when the wind blows, your door doesn't whip shut on your bike as you're trying to load it or a four-wheeler or whatever, you name it, if you want to load it, you can. Cool thing too is that this vehicle, you don't have to, when you unlock the door, you don't have to re-lock the door, you just shut it and it connects to itself, it does it easily, right? This window also, we mentioned earlier, is it was one that we installed too. There was no window on this, so there is now, and it's tinted and it's right. I'm yeah. also going to show you one more goodie. Let me grab a special tool here because no, Jay, I'm not six foot eight. Okay, <laughs> so this right here is another option that we put onto it too. Um, this is going to be a quick awning. So if you see wow. how easy it is to, un to 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 do this awning too, you don't need to do it all. But if you get it all the way out, then you just have prop rods that are going to put it up for the height that you'd like it to be. Cool, guess what, you can do that too. And it matches and it blends with black too. This is actually this customer's second vehicle that we've done for him. And the previous one, he sold it in three hours because nobody else had one like this, <laughs> doing the motocross and all the fun stuff that he does. And the, the person that he had it wanted it right that second. So he had too good of a deal to walk away from. On the inside, here's the coach side of things, ready? Boom, huge TV hanging up there. That has an Xbox, a Blu-ray player, and it's um, the Bluetooth thing where you throw it up on the screen. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, look, a nice uh, yeah, that another thing. convenient oh, handle. Another convenient handle for people of my height, right? So inside this one, more cabinets up top for storage of 
Things like food are things you don't want falling or clanking around when you hit the brakes, right? Not only that, this bench slash bed is freaking awesome. So if you go to a five run moto, you can take a little nap in your tinted out, <laughs> coached out van with the TV running of what you just ran on your last lap and review where you made mistakes or go through whatever you need to do on turn four as you cased that whoop de doo <laughs> right? So TV up, t up top here. Here's the cool thing too. So we've got a power inverter that's installed in this vehicle with an additional battery. That's 2000 watts, which is awesome because it's got a interface on it that it won't let the vehicle run out of juice enough to not start it. So that's not a worry. You can literally use the juice until it's gone. It'll recharge as the vehicle starts. That's awesome. Totally comfortable, totally comfortable for a little nap. Anyway, with leather seating inside and heat, all that good stuff. Here's the other cool things that this one has. It has a lane keeping system, navigation, sync three, all the goodies that Ford has to offer. And actually, if you're gonna get navigation, you're gonna get the touch screen and the sync three and the lane keeping system is something you have to get. Just so you know, that's how it's coming along with it, right? And then you, we were talking about quickly roadside assistance equipment. Just take your two hands, grab right here, and that's where your roadside assistance equipment is, is right underneath there, right? So you have your jack handle stuff there underneath this seat here is where your bottle jack will be underneath that, right? So move your seat forward, remove that little cloth paneling, and there's your bottle jack, right? Underneath the driver's seat, that's where your battery is going to be located. And now there's two batteries located there because we did a 2000 watt inverter which leads to this underneath. Yep, if you plug in there, it's a surge protector strip thing. Yep, got one of those. So you plug in whatever you need to. And yes, there's speakers that are installed too, so this thing will jam. There's an amplifier, all that good stuff in it. So if you're at the races, you have the party wagon with all the shade, with still having this is a full, complete package, right? And this is sweet. And the cool thing is, it's a pretty stinking fast turnaround for us to be able to do this. So if you want to order one and let us know what you want to have in it, we can do the single rear wheel, dual rear wheel. We can change out the height. We can change out the length. We can change it out to whatever you want it to be. Color-wise, awesome other things we do. Full body wraps. So if you are a sponsored rider or you have other things like a business, and this is part business, part pleasure, part vehicle, part work vehicle. It's totally versatile. It's massive. <coughs> and the fuel economy is uh, unreal too. So uh, I've got diesel expediters doing 20 plus miles per gallon. This vehicle here, you're going to see it's not rated like any of the Ford Super Duty class vehicles, but it's going to put you in the mid-teens on what you're actually doing for fuel economy. But the capability is pretty phenomenal. Your gross combined vehicle weight rating on this vehicle is at 13,000 pounds going down the road. That's the vehicle, the payload inside it, and whatever it's pulling behind it. Now this one is a GVWR of over 11,000 pounds, meaning that this vehicle maxed out is 11,000 pounds going down the road. With people, fuel, anything you're gonna put in the back of it, and then some, right? This engine also goes into our max trailer towing F-150, capable of over 12,000 pounds pulling. What do you think the capability and the effort is of this engine to do a vehicle like this? Very minimal. If you want to talk about fuel economy increases, 42% better than what we did in the Econoline version and significantly bigger as you can see. This is taking the market share. Sorry Sprinter, sorry Ram Power Wagons and you're, yeah, doesn't even matter because right now we're at 70% market share. That's unreal. Why? Because of price point, because of options and the way that you can get it built. This is definitely something that we're uh, constantly building and doing and customizing for customers too. So if you're looking at a business or you're looking at a personal vehicle, where you're able to make it at a good price point or we're able to make it custom just the way that you'd like it. If you want to see more builds like this, there's a couple websites to take a look at. We have one that was our previous van at lascolifts.com. That's lasco, L-A-S-C-O, lifts, L-I-F-T-S, dot com. We have a black option there that we did before this one. Then we have this one here on this YouTube video, of course. But take a look at what kind of canvas you want to build off of at our website, lascoford.com, L-A-S-C-O, F-O-R-D, dot com. And you can take a look at some of the options that we have available or pick up the phone and call us at 810-629-2255. My name is Paul Zagman. Thank you for taking the time to look at the 2018 Ford Transit HD 350 with us. Thank you.